Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be comparing the Ninja Foodi Neverstick Premium Cookware to the Ninja Foodi Neverstick Stainless. Which one of these sets is right for you? Stay tuned and find out. So you ready? Let's get into this. So the main point of this video is just to show you the difference between the Ninja Foodi Neverstick 12-piece premium set and the 10-piece stainless steel set. We've already done review videos for both of those sets which we've linked up top here. So if you have interest in these pans, I would definitely check those out. Since we already have those videos posted, this video is just going to highlight the differences between the two sets and what you're getting. First, we'll really quickly go through what you get in the box. The Neverstick Premium 12-piece set comes with an 8, a 10, and a 12-inch fry pan, a 2.5 quart and a 3.5 quart saucepan, a 5 quart saute pan, and a 6.5 quart stock pot. As far as the stainless set goes, you get an 8 inch and a 10 inch fry pan, a 1.5 quart and a 2.5 quart saucepan, a 3 quart saute pan, and once again a 6.5 quart stock pot. With the premium set, you get five different sized lids, and with the stainless set, you get four. So the main differences between the sizes and the count on these sets is that with the stainless set, you don't get the 12 inch fry pan. Also, the saucepans are one and a half quart and two and a half quart, instead of the two and a half quart and three and a half quart you get with the premium set. And the saute pan is three quart instead of the five quart that you get with the premiums. So the common pieces you get between the two sets are the eight and the 10 inch fry pan and also the six and a half quart stock pot. Another difference is the lid compatibility. With the premium set, even though you have five lids and seven pans, the sizes of the pans are set so those two remaining pans that don't come with lids will actually fit other lids that are in the set. So in other words, all seven pans will have a lid that will fit on them. You just wouldn't be able to use all of them at the same time because you don't got enough, obviously. It's definitely nice to have though because most pan sets that I've seen anyway don't offer that. The stainless set's a little bit different though. Like we mentioned before, you've got six pans and four lids, but those four lids will only cover five of the pans. So your eight inch fry pan does not have an option for a lid at all with this set. Here's a quick look at how different the pans look here. You can see they have the same non-stick interior, the same handles, and for the most part, just about the same weight, which I was a little bit surprised of. I kind of thought these stainless pans were going to be a little bit heavier. The main difference is the back side of the pans. On the premiums, you have the shot blasted hard anodized exterior here, and you also have a little reinforced lip right here to make it a little bit more durable on the edges. It's got a 13 millimeter thick aluminum base that runs the entire width of the bottom of the pan. And also on the bottom, there's a stainless steel induction plate. Really nice looking plate too. On the stainless pans, the construction is a little bit different. You got the same Neverstick layer on the inside. You've got the same aluminum layer built into the bottom of the pan to help spread the heat out. And instead of having the shot blasted exterior, you have a stainless steel exterior layer on these. These pans really do look great. I like the look much more than I like the regular premium Neversticks, but there's a couple of things you need to know about these stainless pans. These are not a substitute for a full stainless steel pan. Normally with those, for decent pans anyway, you're looking at something that has at least five layers. You'd have your exterior stainless layer, you'd have an interior stainless layer, and up to maybe three or four layers on the inside. The ones I have have two layers of aluminum along with a layer of copper sandwich in between. So you'd end up with stainless steel, then aluminum, then copper, then aluminum, and then stainless steel again. Typically you'd end up with a layer of 1810 stainless on one side and a layer of 180 stainless on the other side for the magnetism. That all by itself makes stainless pans really heavy. That's why whenever you pick up a good stainless steel pan, it's got a lot of weight to it. In fact, they can be a little bit heavy for most people to use. And a lot of people don't like them for that reason, but that's why they're so heavy. With these, they're pretty light because essentially on the sides here, you've got two layers. You've got the non-stick layer and then you've got the single stainless layer on the outside. And underneath, you've just got stainless and then aluminum and then the non-stick coating. So three layers down there. The aluminum layer is just down here at the base. It doesn't run up the side of the pans and that goes for the premium set as well. Instead of having that extra durable thick ledge, you'll see that on these stainless pans, it's just a thin layer here. And that has a lot to do with the fact that the exterior of the pan is stainless steel. You're not really gonna get that shape. However, this shape does kind of aid in pouring a little bit too, so that's nice. 
We ran both types of pans through several different tests just to see if there was any differences really in the way they work. Ninja says they can sear a lot like cast iron, so we kind of put that to the test. We put some protein into both pans, seared it on both sides on the stove top, and then we went ahead and put those pans into the oven at 500 degrees and left them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. On both sets of pans, we had a nice sear on both sides and it was also nice and even across the meat. The best part is we didn't ruin either one of our pans by having them in the oven at 500 degrees. Keep in mind, however, these are brand new pans and we only did that once or twice. Since Ninja's guaranteeing the pans for so long and it does say they're good to 500 degrees, I don't really have any reason to doubt that. But it's not something that I can really for sure prove since we haven't had these pans long long enough to do that. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. For other tests, we cooked a whole bunch of cheddar cheese on the beach pan and let it get really overcooked. Then we went ahead and let those pans cool down to see how easy it would be to get that cheese off. And with both pans that came off with no effort at all. Also, we fried an egg on both of them and we didn't have any problems getting that to release on either pan. For the scratch test to see how good the non-stick coating was, we did that test on the premium pan and it did have some marks that showed up. It didn't affect the function of the pan at all, but it did leave some visible scratching on there. So we elected not to do that test on the stainless pan, figuring it's going to be about the same since it's the same coating and we didn't want to go and scratch up a second pan. The same goes with the dishwasher test. The pans clean up fine in the dishwasher, but it's not something we recommend doing because that can tarnish stainless steel really badly. You can see here that the induction plate on the premium pan got tarnished pretty bad, and we had to end up using Barkeeper's Friend and a whole lot of elbow grease to get that to shine again. So we elected not to do that test on the stainless since it is essentially the same pan, except with a whole lot of stainless steel on the outside. So even though something's dishwasher safe, doesn't mean you should put it in the dishwasher. Definitely hand wash these, it's going to save you a ton of aggravation and a whole lot of swearing. The size difference on the two pan sets may and may not be an issue for you. The sizes on the premium set tend to run a little bit larger and the sizes on the stainless set tend to run a little bit on the smaller side. We have a ton of pans here so the smaller sizes on the stainless non-sticks is not an issue at all for us. If you don't have any pans or you're just replacing the ones that you already have, the Never Stick Premiums might be a better deal because you're getting a much wider range of pans that will cover a much wider range of uses. With either one of these sets, you always have the option to buy additional sizes from Ninja. But normally when you buy a set, most people want to buy the one thing and have everything they need and not have to worry about it anymore. One additional difference with the pans is that with the stainless ones, even though you just have the single layer of stainless on the outside, stainless steel does retain its heat better. So these pans will retain heat a little bit better than these pans. The only other thing to mention is price. Both of these sets come in about the same price, with the stainless set coming in about 20 bucks cheaper at the time of this recording. However, even though the stainless set is cheaper, you also got to remember that the pans themselves are smaller on average, and you get two less. One less lid and one less pan. All in all, for the most part, it comes down to personal preference. I personally like the stainless pans because everything else I have is stainless and they match up a lot better. And I don't have the need for the larger stainless pans because I got a ton of large stainless pans already. However, the regular pans are a more complete set, the lids are more versatile, you've got a better range of sizes, and the price per pan is better. Also, even though I like stainless steel a lot, the stainless steel induction plate is a lot easier to keep clean than keeping an entire outside layer of a pan polished. If you'd like some more information about either one of these sets, we do have Amazon affiliate links to both sets down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't affect the price that you pay one cent. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more of our videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see you back again here really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.